I am here at one of the coolest things that we're seeing in central Alberta, right here in Edmonton, and we're at Charge Stop. It's replacing your gas station exclusively for electric vehicles. This is very cool. And I'm here with one of the co-owners of Charge Stop to talk a little bit about uh, what's going on here. So I'm gonna introduce you to Alex Yakachuk. Did I get that Yakimik. right? Yakimik. Yeah. I'm already in trouble. <laughs> Welcome to Trucked Up EVs, man. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure. Thanks, Thank man. you for having me out. Well, thanks for coming uh, and using our station. Oh, I would, it was awesome. Plug in, use the app, bang, done. No problems, no timeouts, no flashing red lights. Well, and that's, that's what nice. we're trying to create is that, uh, that ease of access. Quick, reliable charging because that's what's missing in infrastructure right oh, now. Oh yeah, so. absolutely. And the fact that you've got, like this is set up like your typical convenience store. Come in, you got coffee, you got chips. You got all, you got washrooms, you got everything you need right well, here. With a lot of stuff that you wouldn't normally see. So different kind of chips, different food options, beverage options that, you know, we're trying to set ourselves apart from the gas station experience and really give EV drivers their own experience. That's, that's our main, main goal. I have to ask, why Edmonton for your first location? We went back and forth, but the Edmonton, you know, it, it, it's homegrown for a lot of us. Our hearts are in Edmonton. Um, I was born and raised in Edmonton. Um, a lot of the executive team is from Edmonton with the um, off chance of one that's actually from Vancouver. But we love this city and we figured if we could do it here, we could do it anywhere. What a bold um, move, that's we, great. We really wanted to uh, help Alberta with the EV adoption and I think giving EV drivers somewhere to call their own and, and really have this kind of environment, I think will also help drive EV sales. And, and actually looking at things like the plug share map, this is strategic. This is a very good location to have this. Um, so what are the expansion plans? Like I can think of a lot of places in Alberta, I just couldn't go to Fort McMurray. If one of these was in Athabasca, or if one of these was somewhere past Slave Lake, Oh my goodness, you could go anywhere. Our plan is everywhere, especially over the last little bit since we are open, we've had a, a ton of interest. I mean, obviously we wanna make our way across the country, but uh, you know, Alberta is important for us. We wanna yes. allow EV drivers to not have a worry when, when they're trying to travel. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the big things. I mean, I know a lot of EV drivers can travel around the city and, and get a charge, but uh, a lot of the concerns and, and people that we've talked to, um, even some feedback from just you know, interfacing with some EV drivers here is road trips. It's a big part of it. So it's it's where am I going to charge? You know, um, charging anxiety, right? And and mm -hmm. we're trying to alleviate that, but not even alleviate that. Give you somewhere where you're not waiting three to four hours for a charge, That's right? right. You, you have your kids. You know, you can on the on your road trip. You're taking your kids to the washroom anyways. You might grab a snack. You might grab a coffee. Our goal is that by the time you plug in and you grab your snacks, use the washroom, you're ready load to the go. kids back up, you're ready to go. So basically right? that's the whole thing too. There's this misconception that you've got to wait around so long, but if you've got the right infrastructure in place, it's just getting to that point of people understanding that it's you charge differently than you put liquid fuel into a vehicle. Right. So you're, you're, you're getting up to that 80% and you're on the road or even less. So this is a nice boosted way of doing that. I'm very impressed. Now, no when I first saw your opening, you were at 300 kilowatt. Now we're seeing 150. So you're playing it safe because you wanna make sure that all different systems are gonna operate properly. Is that what's going on? There's a couple new EVs that, that have come out to market are having, a tr having trouble differentiating between the 400 volt and the 800 volt architecture. Because you so, can do both. So with the 800 volt architecture, you can go up to 300. Um, 400 volt architecture, uh, it, it shows 150, but we actually had a Rivian charge here last weekend that went up to 164. So we did actually surpass that, mm -hmm. um, but we are right now playing it safe until we actually have the proper update. Uh, we don't have people coming here and not being able to charge because we do want to be right. open for everybody. And, and just to, for my viewers, there's a lot of different uh, vehicles that are out. Most of them are 400 volt architecture. We're seeing that starting to change. So there's not a lot of vehicles you can buy in 2024 that are actually 800 volt architecture, but that's the next stage. That's a big deal because it's Correct. lowering the amount of wiring and the amount of thermal management and so on inside the vehicle. You're reducing all of that because you can put more through at 800 volt. So right. it's a great system. The problem is there's some companies out there, we won't call them cheating, but they're trying to merge two things together and that's where this compatibility, they're not going right. 800 true 800, they're not going true 400, they're trying to do this hybrid thing and it's tripping 
these advanced systems. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So it's not recognizing the 800 versus the 400, and right. and right now that's the problem we're running into with our system. So yeah. it's uh, it's not necessarily a system issue. There's a lot of different systems that wouldn't be compatible with that, so I don't think it would just be us. I think there's a lot of places that are having problems with that, but it's, yeah. it's a, any problems fixable. I'm sure it'll get fixed eventually where um, we can go back up to our, our normal speeds and have those vehicles charge normally. There's a couple of, couple of questions for you. So. I'm very impressed by the fact that you didn't go with the very cheap option of having a bunch of big battery packs uh, like uh, a couple companies that we're dealing with across BC and in Alberta now where the battery is inside the charger unit itself. They charge up, they say, we can give you 200 kilowatts, but after six vehicles visit, the battery inside the charger is dead. Right. And then it's trickling back up and this is to reduce their costs of pulling the electricity in. You're actually, you're looking more like the structure of Electrify Canada and Tesla. We are, so I mean, the whole premise of us was fast charger. I mean, that's kind of, yes. we're, we're charging first, but secondary amenities second, right? right? I mean, we still want to provide for EV drivers to have other amenities, other options, and be that full service EV station, right? Mm. But we were always charging first, right? Because that's one of the biggest anxieties, like we talked about, and one of the biggest worries is, where am I gonna get my next charge? So it was always charging first. So we, we wanted the speeds. And mm -hmm. to have the speeds, you need to invest properly. And, and a lot of the big things too is, is downtime. I mean, a lot yeah. of, we've heard from EV owners, they go to some stations, they'll have eight chargers and only three are working. So reliability. I mean, uh, exactly, that's reliability a is a big key yep. too. And again, that's why we also have an employee on staff with security cameras, cameras pointed at the chargers, not just for safety and security, but he can also monitor and see if there's issues, if somebody's having trouble, um, to be able to assist as well. Just having a squeegee wiper <laughs> and a That makes scan. a big difference I too, mean, definitely. It, it, yeah, it's definitely. the way things should be. Yeah, exactly. So are there plans down the road, one of the big, my channel is all about EV trucks. So of course I'm gonna ask, you can't do pull-throughs here. There's no possible way in the world anyone's getting in here with a trailer. Is that in the cards for the future with some of your locations? That's uh, one of the main points for the future, um, especially when we're uh, talking with potential franchisees and, and looking at expanding. Because um, we understand, I mean, even in the future, they're talking about electric boats, they're talking about yeah. motorhomes. Or it, it, I don't think vehicles is the end game. Mm. Um, there is a massive space for EVs, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, EVs and gas-powered vehicles can, Working together. can definitely work together and EV, share the space. EV trailers being pulled by a diesel. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that 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 it's already being talked about. But pull-throughs are, are a huge part of it, especially in rural areas where you you are going on road trips. Um, this one we were more constrained on, obviously the the, the lot, space, the space, the, lot. Uh, the way the city wanted us to lay it out. Um, so this is why we did it. And here is just good location because it is central. You're um, not going to have easy that to get to exactly. So right. it's it's being able to provide for kind of everybody central. Um, maybe people that can't charge at their condo or their apartment, um, especially in this neighborhood. There's quite a few, mm -hmm. um, but just being able to be here for for everybody. But in right. the future, you're going to you're gonna have to. You're going to have to. And then last question I have for you is. Um, this is going to be a franchise. You're looking at for getting franchisees. Is that correct? We are. So we yeah. we wanted to give back and have everybody involved, right? And um, there's there's some other business models like it. I mean, Mercedes is kind of trying to do the same thing. Um, but again, it's Mercedes, they're mm. Mercedes first, and they're not giving back to the community, mm. right? I mean, Tesla's tried to do the same thing with the Tesla mm -hmm. Cube, um, but we wanted the community involved. We wanted, you know, as, as the transition comes from gas stations to something new, and they do phase out some gas stations, you know, we still wanted people to be able to be involved in the future, plus also create jobs because right. we have someone behind the counter working, yeah. right? So not only are we giving back and having the community involved, but we're, we're creating jobs um, and having fun doing it. Okay, so if anyone's interested in that, they can visit the website. Definitely, yeah, okay. yeah, website all right. has, has all the information. And they ask for you? Yeah, they'd probably be talking to me. That's probably one <laughs> of the ones they'd be talking to mainly, but, uh, but no, we're, we're excited. We've, we've had a lot of interest, especially since we've opened. I'll bet. Um, we, we've definitely done uh, quite a few interviews like these, and I'm, I'm so glad that you came by. Oh, and thanks for having and, me. And uh, well, no, it, it, it means a lot, right, for you to actually come and check out our station. And, and I'm glad uh, you heard of it and then came down today and spent some time with us because it means a lot. So Well, thank you, Alex, very much for the interview. No, and thank uh, you. Trucked Up Crowd will be very interested in coming out and visiting the uh, 
the stop? No doubt. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you enjoyed this content, there's more coming as I do my crazy trucked up stop across this amazing country. I'm interviewing different people and organizations as I go, including regarding mining. You're going to like that one. So stick around, make sure you click the like subscribe and bell notification icon down below. So you don't miss an episode as always. Thanks for watching.